Mark Ruffalo, an yes. amazing actor, mm -hmm. and from the film Warcraft, Paula Patton. Wow. Yeah. And a performance by Michael Franti in Spearhead. Yes. How about that? And, and, uh, and uh, little man Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. He's a... Uh, the role of Joel McHale will now be played by Ryan yeah, Seacrest. Yeah, he's an Oompa Loompa. It's going to be great. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a horrible I'll person. tell him you said that. <laughs> Please do. Yes. Now, he's a brilliant actor, a talented director, and also a successful author. Please welcome Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Thanks for having me on your show. We love having you here. Now, for you, your daughter's graduating, right? That's true, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, well, congratulations to her, right? Yeah, it's a big deal. I mean, I didn't do much. Yeah, really. yeah. I, I, you <laughs> helped birth her, so she well, should thank you for that. Well, I guess, but that was a while ago. I mean, now she's going to stand But still, without you, none of this would be possible. I like to think that. Yeah. Yeah. I like to think that about everything. And but, I understand her prom is coming up. We just had prom last night. And so how did it go? It was great. Yeah, he had a great well, time. Did you go with him? You were his no, date? No, so they have, uh, they have, um, a pre-prom where the parents can go and take pictures. Really? Yeah, it's like a cocktail party for the parents and um, an opportunity for the kids get really to try. Did they all get really drunk? Well, the kid, well, I'm sure the kids tried, but right. uh, the parents yeah. were there. So. Okay. It's just like growing up when our parents had pre-prom cocktail parties to my, take photos. I, know. My, I mean, my parents didn't want to come to my prom. They didn't. No. I mean, no. no. But I you, so you I having a daughter? Are you with prom? Are you? Is it a different approach than having a son who's going to prom? Well. My daughter's awesome, so it, I have complete. I just worry for the guys, you know. Does she have a? Do you have you met her date? Do you like her date? Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that would be a no. <laughs> no. It, it, here's the thing: is that I'm. I go on these shows and I talk about my kids, but as your kids get older, they have an opinion about yeah. what you say about them, yep. and don't talk about my date, and don't talk. I mean, it's a. I'm not, you right. know, I know, I she know. doesn't want me to gain popularity off on my back, okay. Dad. All you right. know? None of this happened, okay? Yeah, Nobody no, yeah. went to but prom you, and nothing, at, nobody's graduated. At, at my kid's school, the prom is actually called Boat, and they go out on a boat, and they all, you know, they oh, float around the cool. city. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, my cool. gosh. And oh, um, you can so they don't get right off that thing. Yeah, 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 it's really easy. Yeah. No, so I, I, is she going to go to college, or can we not talk about that? I think we can talk about that. My daughter just got into Juilliard. You saw him at Juilliard. Oh, oh my God. That's that's I'm, I'm insanely proud of her. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah. I bet. And so. And not because she got into the school, but because she's following her heart and succeeding at it. Mm -hmm. And it's really. Uh, it's just exciting to watch a human being become, you know, they, they're like little puppies and then they turn into yeah. real people. Grown ups, yeah. That's Your amazing. child was a puppy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I too was a dog at one point and now oh I've turned gosh. into a human. It's amazing. This isn't is it? my favorite Disney film. Yeah, no, it, was, it wasn't really an appropriate metaphor. And is she, she's also a singer. Is that well, right? now, yes. Okay. Yes. But we won't talk about that. No, we can. <laughs> she's a musician. She's an amazing kid. Yeah. yeah. And you've traveled with your kids all over the world over the years, right? I mean, you're, the, the, one of the great things about your job is it lends itself to being able to go everywhere. Well, I'm a gypsy. I mean, you don't really know it when you sign up as, uh, do you say you want to be an actor, what it's going to mean to your life about right. traveling around. And, and, and it's really fun when you're single and you're on your own. But it is, it's the biggest challenge of my life, really, is figuring out how to create a balanced home life mm -hmm. and have a job that's constantly ask, asking me to... Uh, upheave my whole family. I mean, we're going to go to Cape Town this summer. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh last summer I was shooting Magnificent Seven, and so the whole family moved to Louisiana. Um, yeah. So it's, it's always an adventure. Great and life I, experiences. I hope so. I mean, sometimes it's fun when I... When I did Mag 7, we all got to ride horses together, and that was really fun. When I was doing the playing Chet Baker, yeah. I 
had trumpet lessons, and that was very annoying for them. Oh, no yeah, kidding. It was like I was killing That's a right. porpoise every morning. <laughs> did, you, did you bring your kids Not on? really killing oh, right. a porpoise. No, no. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Just hurting. Yeah, yeah just... Yeah. <laughs> did you bring your kids on that set of the movie Sinister you did that I... I love that movie, but... <laughs> no, no. It was that, a that, terrifying that, movie called <laughs> Sinister. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, you should see it. It's great, but no it's kids terrifying. Allowed. Yeah, no yeah, kids yeah. allowed on that set. Mm -hmm. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to come right back with Ethan Hawke in a minute. He's got a new book. Well, on the kids, but Father's Day is coming up. Is That's there anything true. special that you're hoping for? I pray for forgiveness. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I. That's what I'm hoping. I hope my kids. You know, I, I really kind of mean it. There's so much positive that comes along with a life of, you know, when you're a celebrity or whatever they call that. It, it, there's a lot of good things that come with it, and there's a lot of negative things that come with it. Mm. Um, it's kind of strange. I. I I said to my son, I said to him, hey man, we can get tickets to the Super Bowl. You want to yeah. go? Yeah. And he goes, with you? <laughs> oh. I'm like, yeah, with me. Kind of the key component. But, but he was like, so who are we going to have to talk to the whole time? Who's giving you the tickets? Oh I'm like, well, gosh. I guess it's wow. like, yeah, so I'm going to have to like do promos and stuff. No, I don't want to go. Can we just sit here and watch it on TV? Yeah. And I was like, you yeah, are way can. too nice to your kids. <laughs> yeah. You should be like, we are going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Shut right up. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to talk to Mark We're Wahlberg the whole time. time. Yeah. And, and ignore you. Here, you. And you yeah. watch it live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have done that. Yeah. My, that's a, you know what I feel is not fair? When I was a kid, I was a second-class citizen. And now something's changed, and now I'm a parent, and I'm a second-class citizen. Right. <laughs> do you, you know, like, what, what, when do I get to be the one that you know, everybody... Joel, Joel is writing a, a parenting book, and yes. I look forward for, to it coming you really in the fall. I, yeah. It is literally called Thanks for the Money. And, uh, <laughs> That's what it's called. You need to change your approach, because you are the king, yeah. and yeah. they are your servants, until uh, they leave the house. Like if this. you say, you're smoking cigarettes now, everybody, that's it. If you're living here, that's happening. That's right. You get to do yeah, that. Yeah, because I'm in charge. You are that's in charge. Right. You that's go right. home and you tell those kids who's yeah. in charge. Yeah, we're going to Super Bowl. I'll talk about you on whatever show I want. Right. You're lucky I'm talking you about are you. Lucky. Yeah. yeah. If you get feel bad. Go to a light switch and turn this up. Just go like this. Go, who's paying for this? Uh, yeah. Electricity. You me, know what's going to be sad? Tomorrow, Ethan's going to be here with a suitcase. Like, well, so anyway. <laughs> I tried your technique, and uh, can work. I stay in one of the dressing rooms? <laughs> Ethan, how many years have you been acting? I have been acting, believe it or not, uh, for over 30 years. <gasps> okay. I did... Jeez. I did... Um, I, I did my first movie when I was 13 years old with River Phoenix. Yeah. And yep. uh, it was called The Explorers. Yeah. Um, about some kids who build their own spaceship. Yeah. And um, I actually got to say the line, we come in peace. We, we, <laughs> okay. You know? Fantastic. It's a pretty, pretty exciting line. Um, and shortly after that, I did Dead Poet Society. Right. And, yeah. Um, and then Dead Poet Society, too. That was great. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. No, that was a man. That, I think that was a strange adult film. Oh. Right? <laughs> yeah. I did like the way you looked at it. Like, did I do that? <laughs> it's a I lot of movies. Uh, and then you but had no, a it's been really fun. And you then know? theater, you mm -hmm. also did. And you got a Drama Desk Award and an Oscar nomination. A couple. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you got the Nobel Peace Prize. No, I, I did. That you, was exciting. You, you were that was elected the, the Nobel president Peace of Austria. Prize is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I'm the president of some very small countries. Did you, you, know? you ever yeah. do anything like, I, I mean, you started acting so young that you probably never really had any odd jobs. Did you ever do anything outside of acting? Oh, definitely. Um, well, I had a paper route. And you did? That, yeah. Wait, were you acting and you had a paper route? With River Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, River and I delivered papers. So they just signed sorry. their names on the video. Yeah, let's see. I, 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 will, I keep thinking about, you know, my daughter's graduating this year, and so I was thinking about the summer after I graduated, I had a construction job, and that was really fun. I really wanted her to do it. I was like, you learned so much. She's like, I'm not going to do that, Dad. Uh, I've done, you know, I worked at Burger King, flipping, made Whoppers yeah. for a couple of years, scooped ice cream. Um, I've had my share of odd jobs. Yeah. You know? wow. That's a lot of fatty food, and yet you've remained <laughs> so skinny you know, this whole the, time. The, the, the uh, <laughs> how do you do it? The problem, I remember when I was... The, the problem with flipping the Whoppers is not the fatty food, it's the, all the grease. And yes. When you're, when you're a when teenager, you're a teenager you get acne nice. from it. Especially, yeah. I, I'd ask this girl, uh, Maureen, to 
at my school it was called Cotillion. Cotillion, right, yeah, sure. Yeah, the Cotillion. And I'd asked her the Cotillion, and she came in one Saturday. She didn't know I worked at the Burger King, and she and her parents came in to the Burger King, and there I was with the Whoppers and the Pimples, and <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. But she actually seemed kind of, she it, it didn't. You, so you still went to Cotillion yeah, with she Maureen? Didn't lose, she was proud of me. Good, okay, so, yeah, well, who Did were you bring they? her old Whopper? Yeah. <laughs> Buddy, where are you going with this job? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking another commercial break. Yes. <laughs> He's got his new book out. It's amazing. You're going to see his new book. Yeah. Stick around. We're going to find out more about the story of the Apache Wars. This book was inspired. It's a, a graphic novel. Mm -hmm. And it was inspired by a trip you took as a child. Is that right? Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that. It, it, it's called Inde, mm -hmm. and it, it follows the life of um, the young life of Geronimo as he serves under Cochise mm -hmm. and his friendship with Cochise's son, Nechis. And it, it, it's a story that I did come across as a young. My dad used to take me camping, and we'd go through New Mexico and Arizona. That's great. And, you know, you go to the Alamo, you go to Kit Carson's thing, and we'd visit, you know, where uh, Cochise's stronghold, or this is where Geronimo was born. And wow. it, it just kind of got into my head, and I started loving it and reading everything I could since I was a little boy. And yeah. about 10 or so years ago, I came across a book called Once They Moved Like the Wind, which is a real unbelievable text chronicling this history and one of the fascinating things about this part of American history and these figures is there's such interesting people and their life story is so profound and what they experienced and I think that a lot of time we all feel such sadness about what happened that we don't even danger and I at first I wanted to make a movie and that's what I thought, oh, it'd be such beautiful to make a movie about the life of Geronimo. Yeah. And it was very difficult to get it made because it's an expensive story and a period piece and everything. And I met this artist, Greg Ruth, who is a beautiful, um, unbelievably talented graphic artist. And we had this idea about turning it into, instead of a movie, let's make a graphic novel. Really and we beautiful. can really approach it and we can really capture all the nuance and everything that we believe in. That was six years ago. Yeah. And so we've been working on it. You know, each drawing takes a lot of time. And so as a writer, for me, I learned a lot from Greg about how to tell a story with economy and still keep the humor and still make it fun. I still wouldn't give up on uh, the idea of making it into a movie, though. I you think it would be a really great You guys film. gotta get this. Yeah. 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 Really great. Well, it's a, it's a great book. I'm, Go I'm, get this, for real. I'm really, the funny thing about it is I'm, I'm kind of here as a salesman and everything still in this book, but it's, it's Greg's art that is so stunning and really makes this come alive, and that's why I feel so yeah, passionate about it. Yeah, no, it's beautiful. It. it sells itself. You yeah. don't have to and say it. And the story, the truth is, yeah. as, as a historical piece, um, it's a part of our culture mm -hmm. and our heritage that um, it's, I just think it's so valuable. Yeah. yeah. Well, we appreciate you bringing it to us. No, it's now online and in stores. So uh, let's hear it for Ethan Hawk. Ethan Hawk. The, the president Nobel of Peace Austria. Prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I'm the president of some very small countries. Did you, you, ever, did you ever do anything like, I, I mean, you started acting so young that you probably never really had any odd jobs. Did you ever do anything outside of acting? Oh, definitely. Um, well, I had a paper route. And you did? That, yeah. Wait, were you acting and you had a paper route? With River Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, yeah, River and I delivered papers. So they just signed sorry. their names um, on the video. Yeah, let's see. I, I, I will... I keep thinking about, you know, my daughter's graduating this year, and so I was thinking about the summer after I graduated, I had a construction job, and that was really fun. I really wanted her to do it. I was like, you learned so much. She's like, I'm not going to do that, Dad. Uh, I've done, you know, I worked at Burger King, flipping, made Whoppers yeah. for a couple of years, scooped ice cream. Um, I've had my share of odd jobs. Yeah. You know. Wow. That's a lot of fatty food, and yet you've remained <laughs> so skinny you know, this whole the, time. The, 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 uh, <laughs> Do you do it? The problem, I remember when I was, the, the problem with flipping the Whoppers is not the fatty food, it's the, all the grease. And yes. When you're, when you're a when teenager, you're a teenager you get acne from that. Especially, yeah. I, I'd ask this girl, uh, Maureen, to, at my school it was called Cotillion. Cotillion, right, yeah, sure. Yeah, the Cotillion. And I'd ask her the Cotillion, and she came in one Saturday, she didn't know I worked at the Burger King, and she and her parents came in to the Burger King, and there I was with the Whoppers and the pimples, and <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. But she actually seemed kind of, she it, it didn't opinion about yeah. what you say about them, yep. and don't talk about my date, and don't talk, I mean, it's a, I'm not, 
You right. know, I know, I she know. She doesn't want me to gain popularity off on my back, okay. Dad. Okay, all right. Know? None of this happened, okay? Yeah, Nobody no, went to but prom you, and nothing, at, nobody's you graduated. About her. At, at my kid's school, the prom is actually called Boat, and they go out on a boat, and they all, you know, they oh, float around the cool. city. Yeah, it's really cool. Oh, my cool. gosh. And, oh, um, you can so they don't get right off that yeah, yeah, it's really easy, yeah. No, so, I, I, is she going to go to college, or can we not talk about that? I think we can talk about that. My daughter just got into Juilliard. You saw him at Juilliard. Oh, oh, my God. Yes. I'm insanely proud of her. Yeah, yeah. I bet. Yeah. I bet. And so. And not because she got into the school, but because she's following her heart and succeeding at it. Mm -hmm. And it's really. Uh, it's just exciting to watch a human being become, you know, they, they're like little puppies and then they turn into yeah. real people. Grown ups, yeah. That's Your amazing. child was a puppy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I too was a dog at one point and now oh I've turned God. into a human. It's amazing. This is my favorite Disney film. Yeah, no, it, was, it wasn't really an appropriate metaphor. And she, she's also a singer. Is that well, right? now, yes. Okay. Yes. But we won't talk about oh, that. No, we can. Me. She's a musician. She's an amazing kid. Yeah. yeah. And you've traveled with your kids all over the world over the years, right? I mean, you're, the, the, one of the great things about your job is it lends itself to being able to go everywhere. Well, I'm a gypsy. I mean, you don't really... Experiences. I hope so. I mean, sometimes it's fun. When I, when I did Mag 7, we all got to ride horses together, and that was really fun. When I was doing the playing Chet Baker, yeah. I had trumpet lessons, and that was very annoying for them. Oh, no yeah, kidding. Yeah, it was like I was killing That's a right. porpoise every morning. You know? <laughs> Did you bring your kids? Not on? really killing oh, right. porpoise. No. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hurting. Them. Yeah, just. Yeah. <laughs> did you bring your kids on that set of the movie Sinister? You did that. I I love that movie, but <laughs> no, no, it was a the... terrifying movie called Sinister. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, great. You should see it. It's great, but no it's kids terrifying. Allowed. Yeah, no yeah, kids yeah. allowed on that set. Mm -hmm. Listen, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to come right back with Ethan Hawke in a minute. He's got a new book. Well, on the kids, but Father's Day is coming up. Is That's there anything true. special that you're hoping for? I pray for forgiveness. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what I. That's what I'm hoping. I won't hope my kids. You know, I, I really kind of mean it. There's so much positive that comes along with a life of, you know, when you're a celebrity or whatever they call that. It, it, there's a lot of good things that come with it, and there's a lot of negative things that come with it. Mm. Um, it's kind of strange. I. I I said to my son, I said to him, hey man, we can get tickets to the Super Bowl. You want to yeah. go? Yeah. And he goes, with you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, with me. Kind of the key component. But, but he's like, so who are we going to have to talk to the whole time? Who's giving you the tickets? Oh I'm like, well, gosh. I guess it's, wow. yeah, so I'm going to have to like do, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I too was a dog at one point, and now oh I've turned gosh. into a human. It's amazing. This is my favorite Disney film. Yeah, no, it, was, it wasn't really an appropriate metaphor. And she, she's also a singer. Is that well, right? now, yes. Okay. Yes. But we won't talk about oh, that. No, we can. <laughs> she's a musician. She's an amazing kid. Yeah. yeah. And you've traveled with your kids all over the world over the years, right? I mean, you're, the, the, one of the great things about your job is it lends itself to being able to go everywhere. Well, I'm a gypsy. I mean, you don't really know it when you sign up as, uh, that you say you want to be an actor, what it's going to mean to your life about right. traveling around. And, and, and it's really fun when you're single and you're on your own, but it is, it's the biggest challenge of my life really is figuring out how to create a balanced home life mm -hmm. and have a job that's constantly ask, asking me to uh, upheave my whole family. I mean, we're going to go to Cape Town this summer. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh last summer I was shooting Magnificent Seven, and so the whole family moved to Louisiana. Um, yeah. So it's, it's always an adventure. Great life I, experiences. I hope so. I mean, sometimes it's fun when I... When I did Mag 7, we all got to ride horses together, and that was really fun. When I was doing the playing Chet Baker, yeah. I had trumpet lessons, and that was very annoying for them. Oh, no yeah, kidding. Yeah, it was like I was killing right. a porpoise every morning. <laughs> you know? did, you, did you bring your kids Not on? Not really killing oh, right. a porpoise. No, no. Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hurting. Boy. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> Did you bring your kids on that set of the movie Sinister you did that I, I love that movie, but. <laughs> no, no. It was a terrifying.